All right, so we're here today. We're gonna do another series. I hope you get to watch all the tips. We're gonna start out with how we train, and what we're doing here today, first off, we're gonna go and acknowledge here at the Classic Swing Golf School and training with our LPJ Tour player, the two books that we utilize for finesse wedge training, shots that are inside of 30 yards. Right here, the pioneer, Mr. Dave Pels, all the analytics and all the stats, short game Bible. Around 2017, I was honored to be exposed and to meet this gentleman, Mr. James Seekman. He wrote this book, Your, Your Short Game Solution. All of his wealth and knowledge came from studying Seve Ballesteros. So we took these books and came up with a plan. We use this book to design our plan so it's <laughs> organized. And we're going to start with showing y'all one of our training tools, which is called block training. So Haley, just real gentle, <laughs> like if you're out there on tour with Reed, you had 30 minutes to do some short game work around the green, and you're like, I need to do some trajectory work, I need to do some landing area work. What is block training in your world? So block training for me is just um, dedicating not more than even 15 minutes of just solely focused on mechanics, my technique, making sure all my alignments and setup are correct. Um, and I get that just based off of feedback from playing or what I think I need to work on. And so part of my daily plan is just setting, setting down in the morning and being like, okay, this is what I want to make sure I'm hitting on and the correct movements I'm doing. So um, just spending a couple minutes, you know, not even hitting to targets and just going through slow motions or doing drills that could apply to helping me in that area. All right, so let us go and explain what a finesse shot looks like. All right, so in the sequence in a finesse shot, what you're going to see, what's going to be revealed through all the tips is we're not looking for power. We're, we're actually trying to just regulate control. So it's going to be a lot more, a lot more of an arm motion where the body's just supporting the motion. Okay. Here's the research that they found out. In a power move, they know that in the sequence, the hips are the power generator. When we're doing a finesse wedge, the lower body is just supporting and stabilizing. So it's a lot more arms with the upper body just carrying the arms to the finish. Why don't you make a couple right arm only swings. Terminology you've probably heard from the past from classic swing instructors doing tips when we're uh, doing a chip shot around the green is shake, toss, and turn. So in a shake, toss, and turn world, what Haley's doing in the backstroke is she's just kind of letting her right hand rotate to open the face of the club. But in the downswing, she's tossing and throwing the club head. So in a finesse shot, the club head in the downstroke begins to move first. The hips are not moving first. The shoulders are not moving first. The, the right arm is actually beginning to release that club head first. And I'm going to give you just a simple picture. If I was just going to pick up this ball right here and just toss it onto the green, what I'm going to do with my lower body is just support the motion. My right arm is going to toss the ball. My shoulders aren't tossing it. My arm's going to toss the ball. But then my shoulders are going to help carry my arm into the finish. Okay, so let's go over the setup here real quick. So with our alignment sticks, the orange alignment stick is our line of flight. You're going to notice the purple alignment stick, it's slightly open. So Haley's toe line is open, her chest and shoulder line are open in a finesse shot relative to the target line. What she's going to do in the setup here is she's going to put about 80% of her pressure forward of the golf ball. The golf ball is slightly back of center, so this is our ball position stick our flight line stick and our stance line stick. With 80% of her pressure forward, she's just gonna throw the orbiting club head and let her body flow to the finish. We call this throw and flow. So the finesse shot wedges you're gonna see here is gonna be support from the lower body, a lot of arm motion, shots inside of 30 yards, where the chest and the shoulders carry Haley right into the finish. This is one of our favorite drills here because it teaches release. 